My name is Ruth McLean. I'm a journalist based in Johannesburg, working mainly for the Times of London. My name is Siobhan O'Grady. I work at Foreign Policy Magazine in Washington, D.C. My name is Roxanne Scott. I'm from Queens, New York, and I'm a freelance print and radio journalist. My name is Ariel Zrolnik. I'm the Christian Science Monitor's East Africa correspondent. Security training made me so much more aware, just, just being aware of my surroundings. In the future, I know that I'm way more prepared about um, handling emergency situations or how to react. There are so many highlights, but probably just the drives with the fixers and getting the chance to ask questions as we went. Pretty much everything that we passed on the road became a new story idea. It was just an amazing way to see part of the country, see the villages we passed through, um, and just see just how incredibly gorgeous it can be in parts of this country. I, the fixer and I just said, you know what, we're going to try to talk to as many people as we can. And I feel like I got a really good sense of Goma by doing that. There were a lot of interesting people to talk to who all had different takes on what the country is like and what its history is and what the different relationships between different groups are. There's a lot to wrap your head around. Um, and I think in the US, even telling people you're going to Congo, they remember all of the violence, but getting the chance to focus on some stories that show a different side of Congo here um, allowed me to see through my reporting that there is still so much hope in this area. It really added depth, I think, to my understanding of what the Congo is, um, what it's like. I think there's one way you'll know that I kind of like this place. <laughs>